Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Thursday, July 11th, 7 11. And um, it's time for the weekly swing trade review we do every Thursday. Here's what it looks like. We recently had an AHR where it broke out with a big breakaway gap. That was yesterday, I believe. It then pulled back from resistance today. But I'm looking for some sort of setup for a move that takes it to 18 and a half and 22. AGIO. You see the pop, the breakout here, then a long coil. It broke out again today. Didn't have a follow through yet. But I'm looking for 55 and 62 eventually. ASTS coming out of a, a, a ascending bull coil. It looks like it within a lot rising channel. My target, 17. BCRX popped today out of a little pennant and closed at the highest level we've seen on this one since the spike up in January. But that high up there. Is my next target at seven three quarters, followed by that to nine. CENX popped, broke out a few days ago and pulled back. Today it bounced right back. Key support now is about 17, targets to 21 and 25. Koya popped a couple days ago, pulled back for a couple days. Today it looked like it started to resume the advance, pressing on the declining top line. If we can get the lateral resistance above seven three quarters, I think we're headed to nine and ten and a half. 3D systems broke down. And then reverse, we put a swing on it. I like the way this is looking overall. My target, four and three quarters, five and three quarters. GERN pop broke out. We put a swing on it, then pulled back in a nice, orderly falling wedge. And for the last five days in a row, it's been up. The last couple of days were just not only today, it looks like it broke out of a little pennant. This is what it looks like on a 15 minute chart. And so now looking for an extension to six and three quarters, seven zone. GPS popped out, broke out, and we pulled back in an orderly fashion today. It may have reversed. I definitely would keep a stop below here. And uh, from that viewpoint, I'll give you a target of 29 and then 31. Maybe higher. Make sure you're aware where support is. NFA is on the short side. Broke his bear flag has become down now for a week. My target is 25. Let's see if we get there. JBL also on the short side. A snap back within the channel. The cover would be over 125.6. Downside target or extension would be 100. Joby exploded out. We put a swing on it about 564 as it was breaking out. It finished at 615. This one looks good to go for higher levels. Six and a half, seven and a half. Laird Superfoods LSF, a swing trade, snapping back here, but it's still in play because it held support. My target, eventually $8. Rivian, breaking out of the wedge a few days ago, has been up every day for the last week. Right now, my extension target is 19. SGHT exploded. FTS today's pop and drop. It held support, came right back beautifully. Now I'm looking for a move that takes it to 9 at 10.90. SIG on the short side snapped back today to test resistance. But you can see that the bear flag that's formed fairly to lower level, $75 target. And so you went broke out yesterday with a spike. I put a swing on it and extended to the first target today. Um, and the next target will be 9.5. And, and in between, you might see something around 8. TNET on the short side snapped back as well today because of a strong market. But you can see that the wedge had broken and it got down just below support. If it doesn't break out here, it starts to roll over, targeting 89 and 79. Uber on the long side had a nice reversal of bar today after holding the 50 day moving average. And I'm now looking for a breakout as it closed near the upper end of the range and around to 78 and 82.3. And finally, Zscaler popped out, broke out, we put a, put a swing on it, backed off, and tested the moving averages, which were reversing. We now have a one, two, three, four is setting up. I'm looking for a wave five that eventually gets up to 225. That's it for tonight's charts of the day and uh, swing trade review video. Bye bye.